Every dance on the kitchen floor we didn't have before. <laughs> Every sunset that we'll miss, I'll wrap them all up in a kiss. How are y'all this morning? It is Thursday. The 14th day of our 21-day low-fat, raw, vegan detox extravaganza. And it is very sunny rific today. I'm coming to you with a few thoughts. And <clears throat> I was going to watch some YouTube this morning. And I, I finally just had to do something else. And I had to say, shh, to the, <laughs> to the computer. I do not enjoy negativity. That is the bottom line of that. Anyway, um, I want to come to you. First of all, I want to thank you. Because I don't do that enough, and um, I want to thank you for listening and commenting and just being a positive, beautiful community that we've built on the comments here. And I read every single comment, and I try to read the ones in my inbox, and um, my email and inbox are flooded. It's very hard for me to sift through that, and then some of them come up as spam, and some of them come up as, like, junk mail, and... Um, but I just wanted to say the light that we're sharing back and forth with each other is a beautiful thing, don't you think? Um, we have something special here is my point. You know, somebody asked me, did I, is this all I do, like, for a living, which was kind of funny to me. Because if you have a YouTube channel, I have, like, this will be my 470th video which I did take 33 down and um, before, so, but basically, you know, I've got a lot of views on each video, but you might make $100 a month. My point is, it's a community service of, of love and light, you know, because I feel um, not really an obligation, but a love for sharing what I know and what this lifestyle has done for me, you know. Um, I want to say, Vegan Jessie, hey girl, she was commenting to me about bloating after meals. She's like, all day, she wakes up with a flat tummy, and um, she might have mono meals, and she said she's got good food combining, which I just have to go with assuming that's correct. And she says that after she eats, she will be bloated, and not just for a little bit, she'll be bloated all day long. The body has to take a long time to adjust to this lifestyle from going um, if you're coming from a sad situation, which most people are. Furthermore, people are trying to cram in too much at once. The body cannot digest it, and they're trying to eat all dang day long. Separate your food into meals so your body has the normal reaction of digesting, assimilating, resting. Digesting, assimilating, resting. You know what I mean? Also, if you before you eat your meals, if you're having this problem, you could have low hydrochloric acid in your tummy. If you will take one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, raw, um, with the mother in there, which means it's got the enzyme still intact, unpasteurized, in a small amount of warm water before you eat, just maybe 10 minutes before you eat, or drink a smoothie, it will absolutely help your digestion. You will be impressed with that. Also, if you're having smoothies, whatever you're having, chew it, even if it's liquefied. You know what I mean? This morning, I had a lemon and ginger little tonic, which was just warm water, one whole lime, just um, peeled, all the insides and everything, seeds and all, and um, about three inches of ginger, shazam. And another reason I like to do that to put the pith and um, the fiber and all in there and not to squeeze the lime. Well, first of all, I, I like a pulpy type experience, but also it causes me to chew, which helps with the enzymes, helps with the digestive juices, you know? So remember to do that. Also, colon cleansing, Jesse. I don't, see, I don't know when somebody um, makes a comment to me, I have no clue where they're coming from, but colon cleansing is an important part of getting your body clean you know, into the next level. I know a lot of people ignore it, but to me and in my experience and on my journey, it was a big component to that, so you may want to look into that. Also, recolonizing your gut with good bacteria. Uh, where, you know, people have taken antibiotics, they've taken drugs, they've taken all these things that make the good bacteria in your body go away, thus letting the bad bacteria thrive and causing you digestive problems. So there you go. Um, 
Another thing, somebody uh, the other day was like, I don't know how you afford to eat like that. I don't spend um, as much money as most people living on the sad diet eat. I mean, if you're living on ramen noodles, sure, I spend a little more, but you're killing yourself with those little noodles, you know. Um, so you might not be paying as much now, but you can pay down the road, you know, save your money. I hope you got a piggy bank for the money you're saving at the grocery store, right? Um, what I do is I don't eat out, okay? I rarely, if somebody takes me out to dinner, I'll go out and I can make it work, but I don't eat out. I like a trough full of food. And most salad bars have something on them. Um, furthermore, I'm not even going to pay $8 to go out to a salad bar. It doesn't have all the things on it. Now, Jason's Deli, I like their salad bar. Um, typically, the stuff isn't sprayed, and most of it's organic. So, about $7.50 for a huge salad that I can, I will eat more, more than any person in that restaurant that night. That is not a bad price. But I don't go out drinking. I don't waste money on paper towels. I use rags over and over. Things like that. I don't waste money at all, ever. Um, another thing, I know, you know, people act like, oh, it's so expensive, but they will stop at the 7-Eleven and get, have you, have you priced a Coca-Cola lately? Or a bag of chips in there? They'll come out of there and have spent 12 bucks and they've got a snack that's going to, basically in the end, contribute to their demise, you know? Um, so how can I afford to eat raw? I know places to go. I know the curb markets to hit where I can get the reduced produce. I know the produce man at the grocery store who will um, get me some bagged bananas if I want them. I will say, is there any of this produce that's fixing to be marked down, sweetheart, you know? Um, what else? A Costco's membership. I don't know too much about Sam's, which we have around here, but Costco's is worth my money of the membership. Furthermore, last year I only ended up paying after my refund about $10 for my whole membership all year. Um, for example, that big bag of carrots that's so cheap that's organic, those can be spiralized. They can be juiced. They can be um, smoothied. They can be a base for a soup. They can be a chip for dip, you know? What about that um, celery they have in there? It's a good price for three big shoots. The spinach, the greens in there, the romaine. You can't beat the price on that. They always have a good deal on bananas, no matter when it is. You might have to let them ripen up, but okay. Stop at your local grocery on the way back and get your bananas there ready to eat in the car on the way home, you know? For a dot ninety-nine cents for probably 28 bananas. That's a deal. You can't eat out of any fast food for that. And again, it's building you up and not breaking you down, you know. Um, you know, eating seasonally. Furthermore, this is what the body's meant to do. And then you get all your wide variety of rainbow nutrients. Changing it up, you know. Frozen fruit from Costco's. You can't beat the deals over there. They have a tropical blend I like. The blueberries, strawberries. Um, somebody told me they have frozen ginger cubes. Uh, Jenny said that, but I haven't seen them at my Costco's, but I'm checking today because we're going to go over to Costco's later. And um, what else? Squash in my soups at night. Uh, butternut squash, acorn squash when it becomes fall. All these things. Eggplant. I look to see what's on sale and what's vibrant. I buy it. I blend it. I drink it. I eat it. You know? I dice it. Make it. It's that easy. So... You know, in the winter, I don't like cold food. I make warm soups. I, I make warm sauces in my Vitamix and put it over my zoodles. Where there's a will, there's a way, you know. And the ever-popular green smoothie, right, with the chia seeds. Chia seeds, you can buy them in bulk, and you don't need to soak them. You, you can make pudding out of them. They're great for a cracker. They can do all kinds of things. They're the little wonder seed, you know. I, I pack them in my purse so I can put them in some water, tip it on back, and fill my belly full if I'm out and I, I don't want to eat, I don't see food, or whatever, you know? Um, the, the better question is how people afford a sad diet, you know? A couple of dudes I know that are um, single, they, they go out to eat all the time. I, I know why they can't afford to live. I mean, even if they're not eating meat, but they're going out to... Mo's or wherever, like um, 
TGI Fridays, all these places, their bill could easily be $20 for a meal. And if they're drinking with that, I don't know. Alcohol really breaks people down. Why are we still doing it? You know, why are y'all still doing that? Spending all this money on organic produce and then washing it down with um, your favorite beer. I don't get that. But again, better than washing down a um, chicken fajita with beer, right? So it just depends on where you are. I mean, eating out costs a lot for a tiny portion. I'm not on board with that. Filling up on veggies, you know. What about green onions, peppers, squash, cucumbers, radishes, jicama, beets, you know. What about all that in your salad? What about preparing it with love? A little avocado um, in a bowl, maybe even one of those, um, what do you call those things? They're, they use them in Mexico. They're a little, um, they're a heavy little stone bowl and you grind. I forget the name of it now. What about putting your avocado in there? A little red pepper, um, a little lime juice, a little bit of red onions in there, grinding it up, you know, and uh, a little bit of water, pouring it on your salad and massaging it in. Nothing's better than that. Pure love and light. I mean, you know, you'll become accustomed to this lifestyle and you'll know how to do it if you just commit. Commit to success. Commit to nothing's going to bring you down off that, you know? What else do I want to tell you? i got a lot of things to say today. I'll be coming back to you. But you know, 80-10-10 is the easiest diet I've ever done in my whole life. I don't have to think about it. I could just have green smoothies all day. I could just have, I don't know, fruit wrapped in lettuce and then a green smoothie and then a fruit snack and then a big salad at night. Whatever. Fresh, whole, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables. You know? Adding in a little fat. You know, to stick with this all these years, I've had a basic mapped out plan, you know, that works for me. And that's what I kind of stick to. I mean, what's your plan? Are you just like haphazardly hoping for the best, you know? I think that's a plan for, um, for failure right there. Um... You know, make your basic plan and run it through the, the chronometer so you see what your um, your ratios are, you know? Map it out to where you know on your salad you can interchange all these things. For your smoothies, you can interchange all these things. And furthermore, how much calories does a bag of orange have versus mangoes? People don't know what they're doing, so they're falling off. You know, bother to take the time to create success for you. No one can really change your mental view on this, you know. It's the hardest thing when I'm coaching people um, because it's the number one reason people fail. They have to come to a mental point to where they're ready to do it. They're ready to commit and give it their A game. That's when you can succeed, you know. You know, staying low fat but not no fat. This is another key with the greens. All these little tips I try to tell you and... Um, you know, another problem is I don't know when I'm just talking to you like this what, what videos of mine you've seen and what, what you haven't seen. So I just say what comes to mind. I think that works best. But, um, you know, having enough water, having enough oxygen, pumping your lymphatic system. And I want to tell you something about that a little bit later. Fruit calories in, in the day with greens, a little chia seed to balance that out. You know, huge salad at night, soups. I don't know what the problem is. You know, so again, if you um, if you are on board with our 14th day, I don't know. We have a few more days, and you've, if you've not gotten on board yet, you could start now, and you could be different by day 21, you know. Get on board. Love yourself enough. I'm going to come back to you all a little bit later, and we'll talk about some more things, and I might take you all shopping to Costco's. I show you how I present my card at the door. <laughs> it's very funny.